a lot of fun. A bunch of people throw molds around. See who can throw it the farthest. I think the farthest was 122 feet. Katrina, do you do that? Do you do that? You know what I think? I think, no, we cannot. There he is right there. Whoa, where is he? Now here's the here's how it works, guys. If you've never been here before, um, this event is over the course of a weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. All right, we're gonna go Sorry, see if we can guy, find Lefty. Lefty is a popular um, croc attraction. Here. I keep saying croc. Oh! Oh! oh yes! <laughs> Tucker's going to go nuts because I'm outside without him. Put my shoes on. We'll take a walk over here. We'll show you the campground. We have this large field behind our site, but check this out. I highly recommend getting a site along the lake here if you can, if you decide to go. Um, you know if you can make it happen it's one of these parks state parks that can that can be difficult to get into but it's well worth it plenty of room for the rv the car the everything is just fantastic we're in site 265 this is another thing that's nice about this park there are so many trails here for biking and just walking and many of them will take you over across the uh, highway here and take give you beach access. Once again, if you guys have ever been here, leave a comment down below, tell us what you think. Did you have a favorite spot? What did you do when you, you know, when you were here? What did you like to do? Hiking, uh, kayaking. I cannot get Katrina to go out and kayak because she refuses to kayak in dark water. And there are gators around, so, you know, she's got a thing about kayaking in dark water. If she can't see the water, she doesn't want to kayak. So now I can go back inside and let Tucker know it's okay. So watch, watch this, watch what he does. Look at him, look at that. If I go outside and I come back in, if, if I go outside without him and then I go to come back in, this is what, this, this waits me. This, this is what awaits me right there. Look, he just, look. You okay? That's what he does. He just can't help himself. All right. Time to get to work. Go figure. All work and no play makes for a boring Chris. Wouldn't you agree, Katrina? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a quick answer.
we are going for a bike ride. Boop, boop. We're going to go for a bike ride. The work outside day is over. Now it's let's go have some fun here at Gulf State Park. I think we're going to uh, go to the pier. Yeah, we heard there were sharks over at the pier the other day. So we're going to go over there in hopes and anticipation of <laughs> seeing see sharks. And what would be really cool if we could get a shark on video. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe we can. I don't care what the shark is doing. That's as long see. as it's on video. I like to say electric bike. Katrina likes to say moped. It's got that throttle on it. And I, tell, I like to use it. But tell, tell them why I say that. Because I like to use the throttle. Because I like to pedal because it's part of it is also getting exercise. And then when you get tired, you can use, you know, the, the throttle. No, Chris is totally throttle. It's not all the way it's a moped no i'm not throttling it all the way every now and then i use the throttle that's what it's there for they make these bikes with different speed factors different levels why not use them if i wanted to just reg bike pedal on a regular i would have kept my standard bike but we have uh -huh. electric bikes they're fantastic you come to golf state park you gotta have an electric bike you can have a standard bike it'll work don't get me wrong but having an electric bike just makes things a little easier okay Let's, okay, all right. Let's try. Let's go. Okay. Where are we going? How you doing? Hey. See, I have it in three, and as soon as I take a pedal or two, I take off. Katrina gets left in the dust. Because put it on two. I don't want to put it on two. Two's too, too slow. I feel the need for speed. You know, it doesn't take much for me to pass you up. Get I'm coasting. That, I'm get coasting right throttle. now. I'm not on the throttle. I'm coasting right now. Oh, please, right now, I see it. I am coasting, and you look at you. All that, coasting. all that hard work you got to do pedaling. It's all worth it. I don't know about you guys, but one of the things I love about riding around a campground is seeing all the different rigs. And then when you see the different rigs, I, are you like us? Do you go, do you think, I wonder if I could RV in that rig. Can I RV in a trailer? Could I RV in an Airstream? A truck trailer, a teardrop. Do you guys do that? If you do that, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Katrina, do you do that? Do you do that? You know what I think? I think. No, we cannot. No teardrop. I mean, no teardrop. She said no teardrop. I, I think I could convince her to do a teardrop for a weekend. A weekend? You, you didn't. You didn't preface it that. I could do it for a weekend, but that's it. Maybe a week. No. A week. No. Yeah. Now, why would you park over there away from my bike? I don't think this is going to reach. There you go. I think you're going to have to move it on this side. It, it doesn't reach over there. This is the Gulf State Park Pier. Okay, let's go. Did you bring the fishing rod? No. What happened? I don't have one. It? I don't have one. You didn't buy me one. I don't have any. Now, we have to get, now tell everybody what we have to do. We have to get out our picture of our pass so we don't get charged going to here. Okay, babe. Right here. Good? Okay. If you stay at Golf State Park, all you have to do to get on the pier and not pay the admission is show your park pass. So if you don't want to carry around your park pass with you, which you probably don't because it's in your vehicle, you just put it on your phone, take a picture, and then when you get to the front gate area here, show your picture and then you just go right in. Sweet. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. Wow. Wow. I 
I think the water's a little churned up today because probably because the high winds. But they said the other day they saw sharks. And someone told us that they called their wife and said, don't get in the water because there's sharks out there. Now we didn't check out the pier last time we were here. This is phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. This is beautiful. There's also a bar area inside. A little, so, gift, little gift shop by gift, gift shop that you can rent um poles, fishing poles and get bait and all that kind of good stuff. So you can rent stuff in here if you don't bring your own. That's the great thing about staying at a uh, Gulf State Park campground and you could ride your bikes over yeah and it's only would it take us 10 minutes 15 if that, minutes if that. here we are at the pier hanging out at this beautiful gorgeous pier and the beaches you can go swimming if you want sure and it's safe because when you when you ride your bikes over you're gonna go over top of the bridge over and, top the road oh sorry over top the road and that's exactly yes. right so there's there's no fear you're not gonna hit there's no you don't have to go through any traffic or anything yeah. park your bike make sure you bring a lock though because you have to you know of course leave them unattended so but otherwise all good how awesome is this this let's is let's go beautiful. look at it let's go look it's a long pier too yeah it's a baby shark <laughs> Oh, there he is, right there. Whoa, where is he? Where? Can you? Oh, there he is, right there. Nice. He's going to take that big pole. You go in the cage. Cage goes in the water. Shark's in the water. Okay. Oh, there it is. Would anyone happen to know what kind of shark that is? Ooh, he's still looking for the head. Yeah. Right there. Where'd it go? I know I dropped it somewhere. Well, I'm not sure. I think it was a black tip. I'm not sure if I got it on camera or not, but I think the gentleman was telling us it was a black tip shark, maybe. Black tip reef shark. Say that again? He said black tip reef shark. Oh, okay. All right. We made it back. We found shark, but we did not find gators. So we need to do a better job of looking for the gators. We're gonna call it an evening. We're gonna sit out, chill out, maybe throw something on the grill. I think she'll surprise me. Oh, I will? Yeah, okay. let's have, let's, what's, uh, come here. What, what, what? What's for dinner tonight? What are you making? Order out. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. All right. You doing okay, buddy? Uh, where did you go? Um, where did you go? You left me alone. We're having a hard time getting Tucker to use his bed. He's not a fan of it. He'll lay down on the hard surface, the grass or the rocks before he gets in the bed. I don't know if this is a common problem that we want him to use his bed because it looks really comfortable but he won't use it. He refuses to use it. So anyway, all right. So Katrina and I were, we were supposed to follow each other because Katrina, I lost her. I don't know where she went. We were looking for gators and uh, I found a gator a minute into my travels thanks to uh, another couple who just happened to be on the side of the road looking. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna look at this gator and Oh, look at that. Oh, there he, I see a tail. There he is, right there. You see him? If you see, you see his tail right there? I think I could take him. What do you think? If I went over there, maybe I'd go around the other side and like grab his tail and see what happens. Come on. I mean, some of you fellas, come on. You. At, at some point in your mind, you had to think, like, he's not that big. You're like, I think I could take him. I believe I could take him. But I lost Katrina. I don't know where she is. She left me hanging. And she just, she just went out and like totally forgot about me. So I don't know. And it, it doesn't do me any good to call her because she didn't bring the phone. So I don't know where she is. I, so I found Katrina. We, we managed to, to, to find, and um, she said she found some gators, and I said I found some gators, and Katrina said, what size? And I'm like, 
does size really matter? And she said, yes. It's all about the gator. Okay. It's all about the gator. Let so, me go around the other side. No. You record me. I'll go around the other side, see if I can pet him. No, no, you're not going to pet him. I found a little teeny one if you want to pet over here. Well, if you had to guess at a size, maybe five feet? Four foot. That's about four, four foot. Okay, four. Oh, I could take him. Four feet? About four feet. Can I impress you if I go over there and take him? No. Will that impress you? No, I'd be too scared for you. Okay, let's go find some more. I found a little baby one for you. Maybe you can pick him up. I am feeling you can a pet little... Him, you can pet him like a puppy dog. Okay, so... Katrina, in her stealthy like, she found a very small one. Look at him. There he goes. Katrina, what did you think he was going to do? You scared him away. And he went underwater. Katrina scared him away. I didn't get a chance to show you. He's gone now. He's right there in the middle. Where? In his head, right there. There he is. He scared the poo out of me. Did you hear me scream? A little guy like that's not going to come after you because you're just too big. They know. They can tell. Let me see if I can't go over and grab him. Come here. Yeah, you just go ahead. I'm going to talk to him. You'll fall right in. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go over here and talk to him. There he is. Oh, he just wanted oh, to water. He said no. He thank you, did Mr. not like. Wow, look at that. He's gone. Like that, he's gone. Okay, let's go. All right. We're going to go Sorry, see if we can guy. find Leave Lefty. Lefty is a popular um, croc. And I keep saying croc. He's a popular gator here on okay, site. Okay. Lefty's right there. Oh, wow. Is that Lefty? Yep. How do you know it's Lefty? I see eyes closed. It Whoa. That's her spot. Hey, Lefty. Oh, yeah. Talk to Lefty like a puppy dog, like she's going to be, you know, sympathetic and understanding. She is. Yeah. Because after all, she's a puppy dog. Pretty much. I don't think so. Pretty much. No, I don't think so. I think so. Lefty. That's, That's Lefty. Lefty. Now, if you could get her to move a little bit, you would notice that her right, you can't see it, but the right, um, her right leg is like right to the elbow. Cut off? Mm-hmm. She's at least six foot. I don't know. Yeah, she's at least six foot. Okay. If I lay down next to her, let, here, okay, well, here, here let me go I'll, lay down next okay, to her. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Um, if I lay down next to her, she would be every bit as, I'm 5'10", so she's at least six foot. Mm -hmm. So from what I understand, at least for her, this is kind of her area. It so, is? Yeah, this is where you'll find her. This is her area. I want to go over and pull a Steve Urkel. It's, I said Steve Urkel. Steve Irwin. <laughs> Steve Irwin. Yeah. I want to pull a Steve Irwin and look and see what she does. You know, you know, gators are really quick they can move up to 35 miles per hour. So she's chilling out, like, just like slow and lethargic. Well, wait a minute, she's minus one leg. So it's just a half, she's good. How fast can she she's, be? And the guy said she's been like that for 15 years. So she's adapted, she, that don't bother her at all. Can we do, are you trying to piss her off? <laughs> I talking to her. Is that, is that how alligators talk? Yes, they do. Please. That was our excitement. Checking out Lefty. Hey, gators over there. So, if you're at Gall State Park, ask around for Lefty's popular spot to hang out. I think the road is Rosemary. It's what's it's, that? It's Rosemary something or other. That this actually path is Rosemary something. I'd like to. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all the subscribers and viewers. I'd like to thank you for narrowing that down for us. Bye, Lefty. See you later, Gator. Good morning. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in uh, Golf State Park. We had some rain move through. Some heavy rain moved through yesterday. If you could see the. Uh, some of the water there. We are getting ready this morning. We're heading out. We're gonna go to Florabama. So if any of you are unfamiliar with this area, right at the Alabama, Florida line, there's a bar called the Florabama. And every year they have their annual mullet toss. What's a mullet? Well, it's not the haircut from the 80s. It's a fish toss. You take a dead mullet and you toss it I believe you toss it from Alabama to Florida or vice versa. And you pay 
20 bucks. You see whoever tosses the mullet the farthest wins. So it's a weekend event. It's an excuse to get together and party and have a good time. So we're gonna drive down and see if we can hang out, you know, for, for the day before we leave. So it should be interesting. Sounds like a lot of fun, something different. I think they've been doing it for like 38 years now. Sounds like something a bunch of drunk guys got together, goofing around and started and it's turned into an annual tradition. Seems pretty interesting. You know, we're gonna go check it out, see what it's like. You about ready to do this? Let's go have I'm some ready fun. Ready to go. All right, we're excited for this? Yep. Should be interesting. few things you had to go through to get in security they check your bags if you decide to come here one year you may want to bring a chair or a blanket or even a bathing suit but don't bring any umbrellas Now here's, the, here's how it works guys, if you've never been here before, um, this event is over the course of a weekend. Mm -hmm. It costs you 10 bucks to get in per adult, and then it costs you $20 to toss the mold, if you want to toss it. And once again, it's for charity. They have this perimeter of chairs set up that are free, first come, first serve. Now you're out in the sun, sitting in the sun. But you'll also notice they have a bunch of chairs on the beach with umbrellas. Those are rental chairs. And what you do is you just sit down, and they'll come over to you and they'll work things out. You don't need to bring anything. You can just, if you don't mind paying for it. And umbrella and chairs, then you can just use theirs. Otherwise, you sit out here in one of the chairs and get the front row seat, get but to watch the mullets. I would also awesome. suggest wearing your bathing suit because if you want to run into the ocean and cool off, you can do so and then walk back up here and sit down, which I we forgot to bring my bathing suit. We didn't suit. think about doing. It looks like a good time. And you do get a free drink. A, yeah, a free you, get mixed a free, drink. you get this nice little wristband, kind of cute. And that lets you go in and out all day. So your free drink is for um, a Red Bull and a vodka. I think. So it's a mixed drink. It's yeah. an alcoholic yeah. beverage. Red Bull and vodka. Mm -hmm. but, and most things are cash. To get yeah. in is cash. Did you tell them that? No, I didn't. Okay, it's cash. They do have some ATM machines. Um, the actual gift shop inside and the restaurant and bar area don't accept credit cards but everything else is cash. But it looks pretty interesting. You know, we got a ways to wait before they start tossing the mullets. So got our feet in the sand, ready to go. So you gotta go get your own fish. Thirty-nine three. Thirty-nine three. All right, Sue, are you ready? All right, girl, go on, throw that fish. Look at that. Go get that fish. Don't touch it till they measure, baby. So you're throwing the mullet fish from one state to another. Whoever throws it the farthest for the day wins. Waylon from Orange Beach, Alabama. Come on up here, young man. One of our first children's toss of the day. Waylon, you done this before? Yes. All right. Okay. My man. All, All right. right. Good toss. Go we'll get that fish. 30 feet, 3 inches. 30 and 3. Good job. When we're at home. Go get that. Go get that fish. Ooh, she's out for a free drink. Wow, good toss. It's still yours. Okay, we're going to give this baller toss thing a try. Went ahead and registered, it's for charity. You get a free shirt as well. Uh, 
And uh, the record today so far is 122 feet. There's no way I can throw it that far. We're gonna get in line and we are going to get this bullet toss thing a try. We need to see what happens. I ain't gonna try to pronounce your last name, so I'll get in trouble because it'll sound like I'm swearing. Throw that mullet. April, grab yourself a fist. Chris, go get yours. Yep, you do better taking all that off. Seven, Everybody. eight feet, six inches. <laughs> no one's going to see. 78, six, baby. Not bad for an old man. It's pretty good, man. What do you think? I think that was awesome. What's that? It's awesome. Yeah. When you go to Florabama, you got to try the Bushwhacker. This is their signature drink. It's like a milkshake, but an adult milkshake, if you will. It's pretty good. First time I had one. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's a lot of fun. A bunch of people throw molds around. See who can throw it the farthest. I think the farthest was 122 feet. I think he was a previous champion. We had a great time today. Today was the first day. <laughs> they do this over the course of the entire weekend. You have all ages of kids, uh, all ages of groups of people tossing the uh, mullets. Look at this, look at this line that throw the mullets. We're gonna head on back. Ready to roll? And Old River. All right, this has been fantastic. Do you enjoy this? Yes, I did. Very much. Well, we had a great time. It was fun. It was awesome. A great environment. The beach environment, the beach atmosphere, people having a good time. Nobody's crazy, stupid, no. insane, obnoxious. It was just a lot of fun. Well, but, except, except for one certain individual who will remain, we remain nameless. You talking about me? Maybe. I don't think so. Great we time. would recommend going to the mullet toss. It's either at the last weekend of April. Yeah, well, she said it's usually the third weekend in April. This year was a week late for okay. whatever reason. Usually the third weekend in April. Okay. Sorry.